and it will provide the customer a notification but it will also provide the customer of available car list if the car is available remember two arrows representing two things we as a customer we don't get them both in this say, uh, case we get either a notification if car is not available or the list if the car is available now before I continue with process 2 notice here I don't have an incoming data flow for a cars data store which will come later because this violates the rule there should be an incoming and outgoing and I will tell you where we usually update this database the second process process 2 is to produce rental summary remember that is the output that the customer sees when the car is available basically the customer provided this uh, process with the choice which car they selected and this process gave back the rental summary okay and at this point the customer can choose to rent the car confirm by providing credit card information so maybe at this point I need to start with the third process which is process payment remember this is a verb process the payment okay so what do I need in order to process the payment from the customer the customer reservation info including name email credit card expiry date I only need to send certain data to the bank for example there is no need for the email but I need to know the customer name expiry date card number and so on the bank will send me back an authorization usually it has a code with the code I can tell whether it's accepted or declined if it's accepted then the process will give the customer the invoice if it's declined it will give the customer card decline notification assuming that the card was accepted then I will move on to process 4 which is book the car okay in order to book the car I'm gonna need also from the process payment because I took the customers money at this point so I'm gonna send the rental details with the card uh, sorry with the car with the customer information I'm gonna send it somewhere in fact I'm gonna save it in the customers table or data store D2 okay and later when I book the car I'm gonna take the customer booking basically this would give me who which customer when and which car so all of this is here it's gonna go as an input to book car the book car is gonna provide the cars data store with the selected car so that it's taken out from the available uh, list right otherwise another customer can come and rent it and of course it's gonna send the garage the renter notification maybe via email uh, or uh, text message or in any way wherever it's an output and it goes to the garage now the garage knows that this customer will come on this day this time to take the car so they will have it ready for them okay so we finish diagram zero but I want you to notice a, a very important concept called balancing the input and output uh, data flows from any parent diagram they should go to the child diagram so the context diagram is a parent diagram we start with it based on it I created the child diagram which is diagram zero so the rule says all the arrows must come from context to diagram zero you can add additional no problem but the original ones must be there there so notice here all the red ones are from your context diagram okay if you count them there are 10 and if you go to the context diagram you will see 10 same names but you will also notice I have additional data flows okay to make it K 
clear and of course I have the data stores that I didn't have in the context diagram so once again from a parent diagram to a child diagram I bring with me everything and then I add more okay like you inherit from the parent all the characteristics and then you do more okay moving on at some point even though diagram zero is very detailed compared to context diagram but if the system is big enough you would still need to perform leveling okay leveling means to take a process in diagram zero and detail it more okay I say sometimes because if the system is small then maybe you don't need to do that if diagram zero is detailed enough you don't need to do that however in most cases realistically speaking there will be a need for level diagrams in level diagrams we take any process that can be broken down into smaller processes and detail it more and by the way we can do that again and again and again and again so we break down we decompose okay when we reach a process that cannot be broken down it's very clear it's very small this process is usually called a functional primitive this is a very important term ask your teacher about it if you're not sure look it up functional primitive okay so from my diagram zero let's take a look at process two produce rental summary in this process I have the car choice as an input and I produce the rental summary but this is a big process it involves more than one thing how do I do that well not I didn't I don't really need to know how as in the system how is doing it but I need to understand this further okay so I'm gonna get rid of it remember the number of this process is process 2 right so because it's process two now I have diagram two so in my example I have context diagram diagram zero and diagram two I don't even have a diagram one so the name here does not say an order the name and the number of the diagram is a representation of the process that it's describing so process 2 is described in diagram 2 process 0 which was in your context diagram is detailed in diagram 0 and so on okay so I have my entity the customer now I have a sub process because it was 2 so it's called 2.1 2.2 2.3 and so on called calculate total amount again the card choice will go here as an input the output will go to another process called 2.2 display rental summary so the first thing is to calculate the total amount and the output which is total amount is gonna go into 2.2 process also the car ID so two inputs and an output rental summary notice the red stuff the red data flows are what can you guess I made them red because they are the data flows from my previous diagram these are the two ones right here right so basically going forward this is the concept of balancing okay so I took from the parent uh, sorry from the parent diagram which was diagram zero I took this part and therefore I must bring with me everything balancing okay and I added two more okay thank you this is the end of our lesson